I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. Country folks can survive. Hey guys, it's Max and Ben, and we're doing a we're doing a YouTube channel yeah. called Southern Boys. And and it's gonna be it's gonna be like all about hunting and fishing and stuff. Okay. So you see, we got this is. A reel I got for Christmas, it's an Abu Garcia or a winch, and it's on a silver hot rod with a Cabela's bait. I'm not sure what it's called. You can't see it. Oh, I'm not sure what it's called right now, but it looks like a brim. It's Abu like a Garcia. Brim. And then we got this mystery tackle box in the mail can for them? Ben. Can you explain to him what it is? And then, so basically... You go on mysterytacklebox.com, over here, and then you pick where you're, how you're fishing. Like there's, ice. Pan, there's pan fish, there's ice fish, there's bass fish, there's inch or saltwater fish, fish so, all that kind of stuff. And, and then, then you pay you pay fifteen dollars a month, and then it comes in in about it comes they ship it on the tenth of that month, and then you get it on like either the thirteenth or the fourteenth of that yeah. month, and you get really cool stuff. So one of the things I got, so a few of the things I got are Reaction Strike 4-inch Chunky Shad. That was in the bass tackle box, so you could probably catch a bass on those. Those look really good. And then we got some Legitness Power Lock Plus Worm Hooks right here. Focus on that. There we go. And right here we got some Strike King Rage Tail worms. They're like they're like regular worms, but they're but they're shorter and they have more of a paddle tail shaped um, tail. What was this? Like a brush? Oh, I couldn't read that. And then we got this is just yeah. a brushless little. It's like a, it's this is a brushless little jig. It's made by Freedom. And we got uh, a sticker. You get that every month. Yeah, you get that every box. And then we have a pellet gun here, which we we, we will be doing most of the hunting with this. Yeah, and I'm really big on the whole hunting with your license and stuff. So if you're interested in shooting a whole bunch of Tweety Birds, probably isn't your channel, because that's not what I do. I shoot, the only things I'll shoot is are squirrels and doves. Because yes. that's the only things know. you can really eat. And Unless you want to eat a goldfinch, which probably won't taste that good. But this is a Daisy 880 power line. It shoots 800 FPS. It shoots pellets and BBs. And it has a 4 by 12 scope, 4 by 15 scope. And it's not that good, but it's what something we, what something. we have. And then we shoot uh, Swiss Arms pellets out of this, the the pointed all-purpose pellets, yeah. That you can use that for target shooting, you can use it for squirrels, running, and doves, anything. You can shoot a squirrel. The best pellets to use would be the Premier Hollow Points, though. That's probably your best bet if you want to go shoot a squirrel or a dove or something. All right, let's go fishing. We go. I'm using an, I'm using the Abby Garcia or a winch. It has eight bearings, and I'm, it's on the silver hawk. How long is this thing? I think it's like six. Six feet, six inches. Yeah. Bait casting rod, bait casting reel. I'm using a Cabela's bait. I real I still don't know what it's called right now because I opened the box and I threw the box away. But if you go to Cabela's and you ask them for brim swim baits, they'll have this. In, they'll, they they might have these in stock, but. You want to work it like it's a, like it's a, um, like it's a wounded brown. So you want to, you have to make sure that it doesn't get caught up in all the sticks though, because it's he it's a slow sinker, so. You get like a, if you get a backlash in your reel, you want to make sure that this doesn't fall to the ground. Okay. But you want to work it like a wounded brown. Okay. So, and guys, we're out. I'm about to fish with this um, little crankbait. And 
I'm using a little spin wheel. A Shimano. A Shimano. Oh, God. Okay, and then... Some doves just flew over us. You have to kind of just throw it in. The, the crankbait I got in a mystery tackle box. Ooh, he's threading the needle with that cast. This is a great spot to fish in the summer, if you can't tell. There are all the trees. The bass like to hide in that shade. In the winter, the place right down there is a spot to fish. But in the winter, you can't use worms like you can in the summer because the Whenever it's cooler, the bass tend to stay higher up on the water. Okay, um, I use this pot gun for hunting squirrels and doves. And sometimes birds overpopulate. Like sometimes you'll get way too many starlings in one spot, and starlings throw away all the other birds. And then cowbirds overpopulate, and robins overpopulate, sparrows overpopulate. Sparrows will even, um, they will even tear apart your house. Like my friend, he has a shop, and sparrows build nests in there, and they eat like all of the corn out of the deer feeder. Sparrows just aren't good. So, sometimes we try and put them on the ground, but that's not gonna be today. Today we're probably just gonna come in for squirrels and doves and doves, but. Let's go see what we can find out there. What's up, YouTube? Hope you liked our video. That was just your first one, an intro, just to let you know what we were doing on this channel and how we're gonna be doing things around here. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Leave, and also leave some comment below of some challenges you would want us to do with what baits. Signing out.